In this video, I'll teach you how to import a 3D model into Quill. To import 3D models into Quill, make your way to the Timeline or Layers window and click on the little square icon with the plus beside it. At the time of making this video, the options for importing 3D models are rather limited. You can only import OBJs and FBXs with no animation and no textures. However, vertex colors are supported in some cases. The first model I'm going to import is a low poly tank from Sketchfab. As you can see, the model spawns at enormous scale. You can move and scale it with the transform object button here. The model is imported as bright red because the vertex colors are not supported and Quill does not read texture files. By tapping on the Q button in the layers window, you get a few more options. Here you can disable the wireframe or change the lighting from unlit to smooth. Even without textures or colors, a model like this can still be great for reference or to use as a guide for a 3D illustration. Models exported from certain software will still retain their vertex color. This is not the case in Maya in the current version of Quill. However, models exported from Oculus Medium will retain their vertex colors. You can also import it as multiple layers if it's been set up that way. When you do this, the model imports as a big list of layers, all within one group. By using the transform key animations, it's possible to animate these 3D models. Here's an example of another use of 3D models in Quill. On the left is a PNG of the number 2. On the right is a 3D model of the number 2. From this distance, they probably look the same. But if you get closer, you'll notice that you have aliasing around the PNG version of the two, whereas the 3D model is completely sharp. This aliasing becomes more noticeable with a dark background. The two on the left was made in Adobe Photoshop and was exported as a PNG. The two on the right was made from an SVG file, which was then converted in Maya to a 3D mesh. When you zoom out, the difference becomes more noticeable and the aliasing becomes much more noticeable on the two on the left than the two on the right. This is much more apparent in VR. If you have a scene that requires typography or logos, it is often faster to use a PNG, but cleaner and sharper to use a 3D model that's been transferred through Maya and exported as an OBJ or FBX.